piece, nearly a spec. Now this is the proof of concept, really, of a multi-user puppy. Now I've dug out this old disc I had from ooh, nearly two years ago. I think Pizza Good made it. Well, I can't remember exactly, but I think that's the guy done it. And it's just a proof of concept of making a puppy, basically, multi-user. So basically, enter a username. Here we go. So I'm going to just put in YouTube just for now, just to show you a demonstration or anything else. Click OK. What you want it to do, what this user you want to do, basically. Click OK when you finish that. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Put your password in, whatever one you really want to put in. So I'm just going to put in whatever, just, just a demonstration one. So it's A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and all stuff like that. There you go. All done. Basically, once you've done that, you're all done. So you click OK. Bobby's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Now, whether the devs want to put this into production, so to say, is another thing. But it just goes to prove it works, basically. Proves it works. It's a lot of work, apparently. Now, if you go and look at uh, the documentation he's put up online, you'll see what I mean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reboot and show you basically what it does. Now, I'm doing it in VirtualBox, so I can actually video everything for you so you can see it. So it's a fully installed system, so I'm going to just click the ex Enter button there, not Exit. We're going to Enter, don't we, really? And we'll wait for it to load up. And this is the old style puppy boot up, really. Quite slow on this machine. I never had much luck with 4.2, to be really honest with you. It was always slow on this particular machine, so don't worry about it too much. But yeah, started booting up now, and making the file system usable, loading the kernel modules. It takes another about 10, 15 seconds, say, something like that. Well, obviously, I have cut the video just to show you how it works. So we're nearly done. Look. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Now, it doesn't look pretty. There's no GUI. This is what you get. So PC, puppy login. I could put YouTube there, but I've not actually configured the user. So I've already made one earlier. So what I'll do, I'll put that user in, so I'm just going to put in Sneaky, I've already configured all that. I'll put a password in for Sneaky, so I'll put my password in, and once that goes OK, we load up, there we go. And now we're into our user. Now I'm only using this as a user, I'm not root anymore. OK, so it does actually work. Now this could put a lot of work into it if they did actually put it into pups. This is the thing, you know, that was here or there. But as you can see, if I click install, sorry, only a root user has permission to run PetGet, which is their installation program, end of the day. It's okay, so it does actually work, but you still get to use all your browser and everything. You can still use anything else you really want to. It's nice. I mean, I know the latest puppy they're doing now, that's in production, well, not in production, in tr training. We'll call it training, shall we? They'll use Spot as the root user for web browsers. I'm not really happy about that, personally. Puppy is, uh, well, what can we say, is a victim of its own success, really. It's always top ten in Distro Watch, you know what I'm saying? And so more and more people are using it, and they do want this option to use a username and not as root. And then we'll get all these people to go away, basically. So as you can see, I've tried to auto-log in, but I can't do that, because I'm a user. I am not root. That's what we want to see, or what some people want to see. I don't have any problem with it, personally, so I'll reboot anyway. No, I don't actually have any problem with it using root in puppy personally, but then I'll go don't do certain stuff, whereas uh, other people will do, wouldn't they? You know, they'll go to certain sites and blah de blah de blah de blah and stuff like that. But yeah, so this actually proves it does actually work, it can be done, it's whether they want to do it or not. Now, the next version of puppy is not going to be based on Ubuntu or Debian, no, completely different this time. Go and give it a read and find out, and you'll see what I mean. I'm not sure if I'm too happy about that. Anyway, I'm going to look in as root now. So I put in root. Now I've made a root password in the console when I was using it as root. You have to do this, otherwise it doesn't actually work. All right? Yeah, we're booted. We're back into root. Basically, all you do is log into your console, type in password or passwd password, and it'll ask you what you want to make your new root password to. Really, really simple. Simple as chips and chips and fish even. So I'll click on install now, obviously, yeah, I can do anything I want to, because I'm root. If I pop them down to the menu, go to setup again, and I'll go down to auto login wizard, I can change that to whatever I want to, because I am root. So yeah, it does actually work. Yeah, it does actually work. Now, would you like to see this in puppy? Because it's not up to me, it's up to you guys to say, please devs, can you put this into pub, or at least make a pet for it, or somebody do something, or some of the guys all get together and just do it, just to please some people, or not, you know, or not. Anyway, that's it. 
proof of concept. Sneaky links out. See you later. Bye.